Hi friends! So um, this was a video I was thinking of making and then one of y'all suggested it. I forget which particular commenter, apologies. But here's a video on the stuff I take hiking. So I have my pack and I have not organized any of this. Um, this is just what's here. Is this the best way to do it? It's fine. This is the way we're doing it. So hiking poles. I have these folding ones that are from Black Diamond. Is that what the brand is called? Well, yeah, Black Diamond. They come in different sizes based on your height. I don't think mine are the shortest. I think there's one shorter. So that's something. But I take these with me on every hike. So my super lightweight hike, like I'm just like taking a quick and easy path and it's not like an all day affair. We'll start with that. I bring that. Sunglasses. Uh, I try and bring a, an inexpensive pair that I don't care about. These are from work that we got for Pride. Love them. I bring a hat to keep the sun off my face. I like this one because it has a hole in the back for my hair to go through. Because I usually keep my hair in a bun or a ponytail. I also bring my phone and these headphones. These I like. My phone like many, got rid of the headphone jack. So I have this dongle that converts from USB-C to um, regular aux, whatever this is called. Um, that way, you'll see. Um, and that's, and, and I, um, I sometimes bring a like sling, like a a bum bag or whatever that will have a mask in it. I can put my car keys in it. And then I always carry with me uh, my ID. And that I do have some pants I um, have have like a, 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 a zip pocket or a special pocket just for that. That's what I prefer. That's the like little hike. On... When I'm going to be out for a while, I bring my hydration pack. This is the bladder. I just cleaned it out. And it has, this carries up to three liters of water. On a, on a full day, that's how much I bring. Fill it up. Maybe this can work in the mouth, please. Thank you. And we'll unclip this. I think this part is meant for like bike helmets, but I have a light, like long sleeve shirt. So it's just flannel tucked in there. In the, in the height of summer when I'm definitely not going to need a, a flannel, although that is not always. I'll sometimes stick my poles in here, but then I take them out immediately. So who cares? There is... So the hydration bit goes in this back part. There's this little part up top. In here, I have a sunscreen lip balm. And, oh, it's not in here because I ate it on my last hike. I carry um, an energy bar, like a like cliff bar or a kind bar or something. So that I have a snack in here. And that's actually, this is staying open so that I know I need to replace that. Then, oh, the thing I just put in, my little earbuds. So, backup headphones, just in case of emergency. I mean, I guess that's a thing. Uh, so these are like an optional. I take them, I will take it out if I'm tight on space. These are an inexpensive pair of binoculars. 
made by Nikon. Because sometimes I like to see things that are far away. Sometimes that's birds. Sometimes it's trees. Sometimes it's, I don't know, other animals. Or it turns out, you know, you think it's an animal, but it's a rock. That happens. Um, I have a USB cord. This is A to C. That works with my power pack. This is my anchor. So I can recharge my phone. Need be. I have a pair of eyeglasses. These are magnifiers. They're not super high strength, but I can't read without them these days. So if um if it's something on my phone, I can zoom, but if it's paper, mm -mm. I have extra sunscreen. Not sponsored, but you know, 50. And you're looking for broad spectrum. I have in here, these don't always come with me. These are my hiking sandals. Sometimes I wear these when I go out if I know I'm going to be able to wear them the whole time. They're bedrock cairns. I like them. Um, but I, uh, I bring them if I think, maybe I'll be able to wear these. It's silly, really. They're going to come out of here soon. So that's all in this middle section. This pack does not carry a lot, so I'm going to have to get a bigger pack on my epic hike of epicness. But this is a good, like, honestly, it, it it's meant to carry water, and it carries water and. So, brilliant. And then, in the front section... This is the stuff that kind of never comes out of here. I have birds. Because I don't know what birds are. I mean, I know what birds are. But I'm like, hmm, what kind of bird was that? And I like this because for the soaring birds that you see, um, a lot of them, it shows you what they look like underneath. Because let's face it, this is what you're going to see. So there's that. I also have two maps. I have Mount Tam and Muir Woods and Northeast Marin County. We'll talk later about the numbers that I thought were mileage. And if they're mileage, they're wrong. I have a mask, wet wipes, a small ace bandage, like if I get a sprain. This isn't the preferred size for ankles, I think, but this will work for ankles and hands and whatever. So it's, you know, for emergency purposes, it's good. Tissues, an empty plastic bag. Hmm, that's weird, you might say. A plastic bag with toilet paper. Because you have to pack it out. <laughs> so, in case of emergency. So far, that emergency hasn't happened. I long may that stay true. This thing is like a twisty thing that you can use to put your hair up in a bun. Some moleskin. This stuff isn't fantastic, but, you know, I have it. I actually got it for sewing related reasons. I have this little pill packet thing, which, okay, look, I take this traveling too, so it has sleeping pills, but mostly I bring it because this has, um, what my, the sleeping pills are Benadryl, which is good for an allergic reaction. Uh, I have uh, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, and naproxen sodium also. And there's these packets for them. They stay closed well. Um, I have a knife. This isn't like super epic or anything, but hmm, this looks like a knitting thing. But it should be useful to have 
a knife sometimes. And then there's another pocket in which I have antibiotic ointment for light cuts. I have a little container of Pepto. Gastrointestinal distress is not something that you want to mess with. Hey, look at it. I didn't realize this. Another tube of antibiotic ointment. A lot of bandages. <laughs> so some of these are for blisters. They don't work at all. They were a waste of money. Just avoid them, okay? These suck. They don't stick. I mean, maybe they would be fine if you want to put them on a blister and then you don't have to walk because they just come off with friction. And guess how blisters are formed. Anyway, so I have some larger gauze pads. I have a motley assortment of bandages of various sizes. So... This isn't a lot of first aid, but like, we're talking like I go out for, you know, three to seven hours. So in some ways it's like, that is actually kind of a lot of first aid for such a small amount of time. But it's a good amount. Um... I'm taking this one out. I don't need two in there. And um, what else do I bring with me? Water. I said that. That's it. I don't always listen to stuff when I'm hiking. I mean, I listen to the birds and the bees. Um, all the bugs. And my thoughts. It should never stop. So, that's what I bring with me hiking. Oh, I also always have something that can hold up my hair. So, that comes with me. Sometimes in my car, I bring a an extra pair of shoes that I can put on after my hike. So, uh, if I've been hiking for several hours, my feet are hot and tired. And so, I will put on sandals or slip-on wool shoes that I own like once I get back to the car. In my car also I have a bag that I could choose to bring with me that has like a beach towel and this little small quilt that I use for chucking around. So if I wanted to I could carry that with me but that would have to be a separate bag. This is stuffed full because as full as it is right now it has to expand it to also hold three liters of water. So it's actually kind of over full and I should take those shoes out really. I'll go through that now so I don't forget. But I'm ready to hike now. <laughs> We're, it's go time. Oh, and, uh, oh, hand sanitizer. So if I'm going to be gone for a... a a longer trip I'll bring that too. Not because I think that I'm going to be, for the record, the mask and the hand sanitizer are super great for if you have to use disgusting bathrooms at whatever trailhead. So a lot of the bathrooms here are like a metal toilet, like a metal commode that's just over a poop hole. Like, oh, it's so stinky. And the mask is pretty good. Masks don't like block all scent, but they're pretty good at blocking scent. And very few of those have hand washing facilities, so this is nice. But then also hand sanitizer would be good if you like cut yourself. So I skid and I fell. And what I actually did, this wasn't, I scraped myself slightly. I just actually took a mouthful of water and then like spit it, <laughs> drooled it into my hand to kind of wipe it off a bit. But if it was, you know, this would be good for cleaning out slight scrapes and so on 
not like deep wounds. Um, and most of the places that I hike, or all of them, I have emergency cell service at the very least. Most of them I just have regular cell service. There's not a loss of coverage. So I don't have to worry about like too much about, oh, I hurt myself and I need an emergency evacuation. Like I could just call. <laughs> like I could just call 911 and say like, hi, I'm here and I need help. Um, but for, if I go to more remote places, my plan is to get one of those, um, relatively inexpensive, you know, SOS things. If you research it, you'll see there's a ton. Um, so that's it. I hope this was interesting. Uh, I am not an expert. I've watched other people's videos on what to bring. And again, this is for a day hike. This is not, I would not, this is not the stuff that I would bring if I was going to be out for a week. I mean, you know, even like if I was going to spend the night somewhere, I would need more stuff than this, I think. But, um... I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody.